Ah. Hey everyone, today we're doing a video on five quick tips to win the infant toddler diaper change. So without further ado, step one, prepare for battle. I want everyone to know this is a completely normal part of a kiddo's development. Um, the first three years of their life, they are learning so much every second of every day. When that's interrupted, it's very frustrating for them. So mentally prepare yourself that it's going to be a challenge. Two minutes of your day, five or six times a day. Physically prepare your space. Make sure that you have all of your gear. There's nothing worse than opening everything up. If you don't have wipes, you don't have a diaper. I have a few stations around my house. Um, and I try to keep them stocked as much as I can. Quick tip two, give a warning or a choice. Now, even for infants, give them the language. Always, always give them the language. We're gonna change your pants. It's time to change your pants. Let's change your pants. Toddlers should have the ability to comprehend a little bit more. So you might be able to say, in two minutes, we're going to change your pants. Um, in the description below, I have suggested some timers, some really good interactive timers. They're just apps that you can put on your phone. You can give the phone to your two-year-old and say, set the timer in two minutes. We got to change your pants. That way, it's kind of the timer's fault, not yours. Another thing would be to some of the diapers have the blue line. So you can kind of say, uh-oh, the line is blue. What does that mean? That way it's the diaper's fault again and not yours. Um, but again, talking to them, letting them know it's coming. And second part of this tip is to give them a choice. Do you want to change your pants now or in two minutes? Do you want to hold the diaper or the wipes? Give them a choice. Give them some responsibility. It kind of makes them feel like it's their idea then and not yours. Tip number three is to have some special objects around your changing areas that are specifically only for this time. Um, so my kiddo here has a few from when he was little. Um, so I would say around six months. Hopefully before then, uh, they're too preoccupied with sleeping and eating to even notice that they're getting changed. Um, but these are just some real good ones, some colorful, engaging that they can hold and they make some noises. These balls that rattle, um, just some fun little interactive toys for them. Now that he's a bit older, um, he likes everyday objects. So you guys, I seriously have lotion, loves lotion, entertains him for days. Um, he loves his little vitamin D dropper. Uh, he's teething, so I don't know if it might feel good. Um, but again, really distracting during this time. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, the nose Frida, life-saving in so many ways. Once you get past how disgusting it can be, this thing will save your life with getting all of the mucus out of your kiddo's head. Not only that, he loves to play with it. Um, of course, I do try to clean it. So, um, Nose Frida, lifesaver for any mom in the description if you need to get one. Um, they work so much better than any of the bulbs or even I had an electric nose sucker. No, it doesn't compare. So, um, another thing that he really enjoys right now is books. So, I have him one that is a touch and feel that is smaller that he can manipulate during this time. All these things seem to really help. Tip number four, uh, becoming a parent automatically promotes you to entertainer. So I was told once in a training that if your kid is crying, you should sing. Something to do with that they, their brain cannot listen and cry at the same time. I don't know that I believe it. Having said that, I am a big promoter of singing dancing, being as silly as I can during the diaper change. Seriously, the more ridiculous you are, the more they laugh. Tips for singing and dancing. Any songs with a lot of movements with your hands, uh, movements with your mouth. These are all really good. 
um, times for them to focus on all of those things and they're learning the language, they're learning movement, they're learning how to imitate. Um, so some good ones are the Itsy Bitsy Spider. You can make up your own songs that are fun. So the baby on the bus says clap, clap, clap. That gives them the movement, it gives them a fun, repetitive sound, a quick tip inside a tip. Diaper changing usually means they're looking a lot at your face. This is a good time to do uh, sounds with your mouth so they can really look and see how you're producing those sounds and hopefully imitate. All right, last quick tip. This is good for any part of your day, um, but remember to always praise, praise good behavior and ignore the bad as much as you humanly can. I really like how you're sitting there and letting me help you get changed. And if you are in a, a wrestling match, try to ignore it. Walk away once you're done and don't bring any attention to it. All behavior is a type of communication. Uh, so just realize your kids are trying to say something and most of the time it's that they're frustrated. So again, give them the language. I know you're frustrated. I know you were playing. I know it's hard to sit still. Um, ignore the bad. Praise the good. As a recap, five quick tips. Prepare mentally and physically. Make sure you have all your gear. Know that this is completely normal. Two. Give them a warning that it's coming. Give them a choice to help out. Three, have special objects only for this time of day that can distract. Number four, sing, dance. Use this time to interact with your kiddo as much as you can. And number five, praise and ignore. Praise the good, ignore the bad. Thanks guys, don't forget to subscribe and this is all on my blog at justjudylynn.com.